on behalf of the Duvall and James families, welcome to the wedding of Morgan and Cora. Our Father and our God, it is such a joy to witness this covenant today. Father, for the, for the preparation that you have done in Morgan and in Corey's life to bring him to this day. Moving and working in ways that nobody saw or understood. And Father, you have to help them find each other and realize that you've called them to be together forever. Father, I pray your blessings on their marriage and on their home. I pray that you'd give them all that we know they need for marriage to be all that you've meant for it to be. Know that you will accomplish your will and your purpose in their lives as they keep trusting in you. For it's in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. Dear Morgan, our wedding day has finally come and I can't begin to describe how excited I am for you to be my wife. Our story may have started when we were kids, but I will never forget the day I met you at my dad's anniversary party. <laughs> Corey Lee, in just a few hours I will walk down the aisle Lock my eyes and hands with yours. Stand in front of you and our closest family and friends and promise to love you every single day for the rest of our lives. I love everything about who you are and who God has made you to be. You are a man of many amazing qualities and talents, but it is your heart for me, your family and friends, and our Savior that makes me fall more in love with you every day. Who would have thought when our dads were 15 years old, they would become best friends and eventually have their two youngest children marry each other? When I think of our story, I see the Lord's hand all over it. Who brings Morgan to be married to Corey? Her mother and I do. I am Morgan, receive you, Corey, to be my wedded husband. Have it to hold this day forward to care for and encourage in good times and in bad. I promise to honor Christ and live with you in the full awareness of trust and love. And with this covenant, I pledge to you my love. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sure I was ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Wait. Oh God. Oh, this is gorgeous. You're gorgeous. You're all grown up. <laughs> it has been such a unique experience as Corey and Morgan have courted because I think most of you probably know Corey and Caitlin and Emily were our godchildren. There was a chance that if something happened to Kevin and Brenda, they would come, come to live with us. So my godson is now my son-in-law, and uh, that's a great thing. We're just very happy that, um, that our families are united in even a more unique and special way. Corey and I have a passion for doing stuff in the shop together. So we got this harebrained idea that we should make a charter bus a motorhome. We found a grand 1962 or three bus in Texas. And he skipped school for a week and we did homework in the rider truck. Frank went with us and we got down there and it was the pictures that were in the ad were eight years old. The bus was not roadworthy. The man kept my deposit and everything in me wanted to not be a pastor and I wanted to hit the man and cuss him out. But I, honest to goodness, Frank will tell you, I turned and there's my young son. And I realized, no, 
I had to be better than that because he's watching. Well, that's been a lifetime. You bring out the best in me, so Corey, I thank you. And the greatest joy in a parent's life, I think, is to see your kids grow up, find that special someone that brings out the best in them. It's what you've prayed for and what we've waited for, and Morgan, you are it for him. You bring out the best in him. I am grateful to God that he has brought you two together in a way that only he could. So I look forward to seeing what the Lord's going to continue to do as you guys continue to serve him. I love you. Here's to Corey and Morgan. As I become your wife today, it is among one of the very greatest joys and honors of my life. I love you with everything in me. Now let's go get married and start the rest of our lives together as husband and wife. All my love, your girl, Morgan. Corey and Morgan, be merciful, kind, and loving to each other. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts and in your home and in your marriage. Remembering that you have promised this day to live Christ's love together forever. Corey and Morgan, Inasmuch as you have come together before God, your family, and friends, pledging your love for each other by exchanging vows and by the giving and the receiving of rings, by the authority entrusted to me through Christ and the church, and by the laws of the state of Virginia, I do hereby declare you are husband and wife. You may share a kiss. <laughs> 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 Turn and face your friends and family. It is my pleasure to present for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Corey Lee James. Well, thank every one of you for braving the storm and being with us here this evening. We are just so honored to have many of uh, Morgan and Corey's uh, family and friends with us. And it's just a distinct pleasure to seal this moment in time with the word joy. Well, most of you know that I have had the privilege of knowing Morgan my whole life as she is my baby sister. Morgan is tender and she's sensitive, but she's also a force to be reckoned with. She's an encourager. She's a prayer warrior. She's a servant leader. She's strikingly beautiful with her snow white skin and her lush red hair and a smile that brightens up any room when you walk into it. And when Corey could tolerate 5,000 blankets on top of him, having someone who falls asleep during every single movie and who joins me in poking fun at Morgan, I knew that he was the one for my baby sister. Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to introduce to you the bride and groom. Here they are, Mr. and Mrs. Corey James. I found a love for me Darling, just dive right in Follow my lead Well, I found a girl Beautiful and sweet Oh, I never knew you were the someone kids when we fell in love not knowing what it was I will not give you I want to spend the rest of my life showing you the love of Jesus through the way that I treat you and care for you it's a huge honor for me to be marrying such an incredibly beautiful and kind woman and I will never take that for granted Today is just the beginning of a lifelong decision to continue to show unconditional love and forgiveness Baby, towards each other. I'm dancing in the 
dark With you between my arms Barefoot on the grass Listening to our favorite song When you said you looked a mess I whispered underneath my breath But you Corey brings out the best in Morgan. I've thought so many times to myself during the relationship, Corey is so perfect for her. Corey, you are so, so good to her. You lead her so well. You provide for her. You listen to her. And you have been patient. There is no doubt in my mind that you both deeply love and care for each other. I've loved watching the Lord unfold every detail of your story. And I cannot wait to watch him unravel the rest and I know it's gonna be beautiful. I know your marriage will push you closer to Jesus, each of you, and I know it will bless so many others as it already has. So here's to a lifetime of redheaded happiness to Morgan and Corey.